Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the lit code problem 816 ambiguous coordinates. So this problem was appeared in Google interview as per the lit code tagging. So let's read the problem statement here. We had some two dimensional coordinates like 1 comma 3 or 2 comma 0 0.5. Then we remove all the commas, decimal points and spaces. So here if you see we have comma over here, space over here and decimal point over here. So we remove everything from here and end it up with the string s. Return a list of string representing all possibilities for what our original coordinates could have been. So after removing this all like commas, decimal points and spaces, we are given input string s. Then we have to try to generate all the coordinates which can be possible by placing comma, space and dots in the suitable positions. And the condition over here like our original representation never had extraneous zeros, so we never started with numbers like 00, 0, .0, 0, .0, 0 is invalid. These coordinates like given here are invalid. Like if any number other than 0 start doesn't have more than 1 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0 is invalid, 0, 0, 0, 0 is invalid, 1 dot 0. So if any number is not ending with dot 0, so this is also invalid and 0, 0, 1 is invalid. 0, 0, dot 0, 1 is also invalid. So, so these are the conditions we need to avoid and generate rest of the valid coordinate point from the string s. And we have to return the final answer in a list of a string and the order of that coordinate does not matter. And here also note that coordinate in the final answer have exactly one space between them. So like this format we need to return in the same format. So here the example one is this given as 1, 2, 3 and if we try to place the first of all we will try to place the comma. So this comma we can place at two places. So if we start 1, 2, 3 uh, here then we can place. So let us understand this here. So 1, 2, 3 first of all we will try to place the comma. So for placing comma we can divide this coordinate like 1, comma, 2, 3 another 1 2 comma 3 once we did after that we only have two places to place the comma so we place that now we can try to divide further more if we can place dot so here we can't place any dot further so this is only one in the left side so this is our valid left coordinate and here in this 2 3 so one is 2 3 itself another we can place a dot between 2 and 3 so this will be 2 dot 3 so this is another. Now we will take combination of 1 into 2. So they, this will give us two coordinate pair. Similarly over here 1 2 we can place dots like 1 is 1 2 itself another is 1.2. So 1 dot 2 we can place a dot between 1 and 2 and the right side only we have single digit. So we cannot make any dot 0 dot 3 like that. So 3 is itself here. So again this one multiplied by 2. So we will get two coordinate from here valid coordinate and two valid coordinate from so overall we will get four valid coordinates. So here in this answer output expectation of these four valid coordinate. So how to start to solving this problem? So first of all as we already figure out first of all we will try to place the comma and we should have only one comma like we will divide the string into two parts. The one part is will be the left coordinate basically the x coordinate and the right part will be the y coordinate. So let us take another example. So in this example we will start trying to place the comma everywhere from it starting from the index this this is index of 2 so which is because 0th index we have this open parenthesis and the first we need to keep at least one digit left side so we will start placing over here so we will branch out this so this will become 0 comma rest of this uh, 1 2 3 then we another play 0 comma 1 comma 2 3 another will be places like 0 1 2 comma 3 and the last one no this only three places we can place the comma here now in this 0 is a valid so we will keep 0 as it is and here in 1 2 3 what we can do we can make 1 2 so we will further divide this now we need to place the decimal point so we will try to place decimal point like 1 is 1 2 3 is valid then 1.23 another is 1 2.3 so this is are the 
two can be coordinate can be created by this by placing dot so total three we have here so we have one two three 1.23 and 12.3 and here in the left side we have 0 so we will combine these all of them so this will become 3 coordinate from here now let's see over here so if i go over here and try to place dot that is 0 1 is not valid first of all 0 1 is not valid because as it is given already a invalid case if you see over here 0 1 is not a valid case like 0 0 or 0 1 whatever uh, only 0 dot decimal point is this so this is not a valid 0 1 so we will place only one dot so this will become 0 1 0 dot 1 this is only valid here and in this right side we have 2 3 is the valid answer and another we will have 2 dot 3 so this is the two coordinate from this right side and one coordinate from left side so they will multiply it with two so we will multiply them so the overall we will get two coordinate from this part similarly we will try the right part so in right part we can have 0 0.12 only so one possible answer is 0 0.12 other is not a valid so we just get this similarly in the right part we will have only three so one coordinate pair valid coordinate pair we will get over here so this you must have got idea so what we will try to do we will first put the comma and then recursively uh, then we will call a helper method that will place try to place the uh, decimal point and all the valid strings we will get as a list of string for the left part similarly we will get a list of string for the right part and then we combine them and create a final uh, valid coordinate and then add into the result is so this is let's take another example if we have only 0 1 so what are the choices so first of all we have to place one comma so this will become 0 on the left side so 0 comma 1 like now further we cannot place any decimal point because these are single points so this is the only answer for this string this ambiguous coordinate can be only break into a one valid pair of coordinate let's take another 0 dot 0 dot 1 so now what we can do we can place one comma over here and one zero one over here another comma zero comma zero dot one so now if you see this one is zero is valid similarly this zero dot zero dot zero dot one is valid but zero one is not valid so we have only one pair here zero zero is not valid itself similarly one we have only one so there is no coordinate pair valid here only we have one co valid coordinate pair for this input string so this is the idea so let's start implementing the code so for the coding part we need a first list of a string that will keep our result and we will iterate over it now first of all we start a loop int i from 2 index from 2 and it will go until as dot length minus 1 because we are uh, removing the opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis we will just try to place the dot in between now we will get the all the string word valid of the left part so a string left from the let's say place decimal i will call a place decimal and here we will pass the string as it is and the coordinate uh, start from zero so instead of 0 this is, is digit is starting from 1 and i similarly we will run another for loop for the generate all the string for the right part so that right part in the place decimal method call again and pass s i and the s dot length minus 1 once we get all the valid pair of left and right then we combine them and put into our result so in result dot add that will become first of all we will add this opening parenthesis then we will add the left string then we will add the comma and space as mentioned in the required answer and then we will plus the right part and then we close this with this so this is will create the valid and once everything done we just return result as our answer now we need to write the definition of our place decimal method so let's write this will also return a list of a string place decimal method will get the string as int i int j so now we are trying to place the decimal point so for decimal point first of all we need to create again list of a string that we need to return as a part so new array 
list and then we start another loop to place decimal from so let us say d from uh, 1 to and d is less than or equals to the length of this part of this substring is j minus i and d plus plus. Now what we need to do we need to first of all cut this two part into a left and right so again left part which will be s dot substring from i to i plus d correct and the right part will be from i plus d to the rightmost coordinate is j so till j now we need to check whether it is valid or not so let it call it as a right and here we need to check if it is not so first of all we will check the left condition is valid so left starts with 0 if it is not start with 0 or it is if it is then it is only 0 so left dot equals 0 string itself or so this validation of left part is done now for right part we need to check only right not ends with ends with so this should be ends with the 0 so if it is then we will add this into the list dot add the left part plus the period plus the right part and in the end we just return all the possible valid tokens so let us compile this code I already pasted all the test cases let us see if it is compiling there is a error in the starts with is a typo it should be starts with compile it again and it got compiled and we are getting exact answers so there is a one wrong answer here because of oh this is instead of comma i place here as well no that is correct then what uh, what is the case which case we are missing one dot one dot one dot we are getting one dot yeah so one more important condition we missed over here so if the part on the left side is just a single digit then there is no need to place this period in that so we need to check this condition over here so if d is less than j minus i then only place the p decimal otherwise keep empty there is no need to do anything so let us compile it again so now it should work correct and we are getting expected answer now we can submit this and it got accepted so what is the time complexity of this solution as you can see we are running o of n loop over here then we are running two loops nestedly and this both loop are running n square time so this will become o this part is cutting the string this will iterate for o of n and this is o of three q loops so this will call once so this is o on so this part is like taking place decimal one square and here it's like one by one we are doing this so this is not cross product so it's just o of n and o of n for this so this will become o of n cube this time complexity of this solution will be o of n cube if this is considered as substring as o of 1 but it is o of n so this will be o of n 4 so that's it if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel